Hi everyone, join us as we head up north into New South Wales and back down to Beeshworth. Hi everyone, and welcome to Dan's Destinations. Following on from our previous trip to Wangaratta, we woke up early and drove up north, passing the border in Wodonga and into Albury in New South Wales, and ultimately arriving in Holbrook. We visited the HMAS Oddway in Holbrook. We then headed into Beechworth, stopping by the Beechworth Asylum. We also visited the Queen Victoria Park and the old Beechworth Jail. Lastly, we stopped by Newtown Falls. Also, YouTube says less than 2% of you are subscribed, so help a mate out and smash that like and subscribe button. HMAS Otway is an Oberon-class submarine from the Royal Australian Navy that served with distinction from 1968. It was decommissioned in 1991 and the fins were donated to the town of Holbrook. The community attempted to buy the rest of the submarine before it was scrapped, but could not raise sufficient funds to win the tender. Undeterred, they approached the tender winner, a metal recycler, to purchase the top half of the submarine shell, which was then transported to its present location today. The submarine was designated a memorial on June 1997, and the Holbrook Submarine Museum was built beside it. The museum is open from 10am and chronicles the history of how the HMAS Otway's final resting spot came to be in Holbrook. We arrived too early in the day and hence couldn't visit the museum on this trip. The HMAS Otway is the sister ship of the HMAS Otama, previously in Victoria, and the HMAS Onslow in Sydney's Darling Harbour, and the HMAS Ovens in Perth. Morning. You can also see my previous video of the HMAS Otama in the video description below. There is also a torpedo monument that commemorates the action of Lt. H. Stoker and the crew of the HMAS AE-2 in World War I in the Battle of Gallipoli. Next to it is the Commander Holbrook Memorial, which is a tribute to Commander Norman Holbrook, a decorated World War I naval hero who received the Victoria Cross when he successfully navigated his British submarine HMS B-11 through the treacherous Dardanelles Straits, sinking a Turkish battleship. This town was renamed to Holbrook in his honour.
After visiting the submarine, we had breakfast at the Holbrook Bakery, which serves very good breakfast and pies. The bakery is famous for their award-winning country chicken pie, which is delicious and highly recommended. The big breakfast was hearty, well-seasoned and delicious, and just what we needed to tide us through the day. I would like to take a moment to talk about Topaz Labs Video AI. It is a software that uses AI to upscale, sharpen and denoise your video. I've been using it for several years and it is a great tool. In this video, you can see a lot of noise in my footage shot in low light with an action camera. Topaz Labs does a great job of removing the low light noise and sharpening the video. It is a great tool and I highly recommend it and if you're keen to try it, Please do sign up with my link in the video description, as it helps to support this channel. A great feature is that although it is a subscription model, you can still continue to use it after your subscription expires. You just won't have access to any new AI models that are released. They are having their annual Black Friday sale now, so do check them out. After Holbrook and on our way back to Victoria, we dropped by Lake Hume to see the Batanga Bridge. It is a picturesque and historical bridge which spans the beautiful waters of Lake Hume, offering visitors a unique blend of natural beauty, engineering marvel and a rich history. The bridge was constructed in the 1930s to provide a crossing over the lake, replacing the old bridge that was submerged when the Hume Dam was built, resulting in the creation of Lake Hume. We next drove back through Albury and Wodonga and arrived at our next destination, Beechworth, a charming town located in Victoria's high country. It is a town steep in history when it rose to prominence during the 1800s gold rush. The town holds a collection of historic buildings, museums and heritage sites from the gold rush era. We drove by the Chinese gardens and Lake Sambal Reserve a serene and culturally significant attraction, celebrating the role Chinese immigrants played during the Gold Rush era. The Beechworth Asylum is a historical site that has earned a reputation as one of Australia's most haunted locations. The asylum was opened in 1867 and was originally known as Mayday Hills Lunatic Asylum. Over the decades, the asylum went through numerous changes, including expansion and renovation, but it eventually closed its doors in 1995, marking the end of over a century of service. The Beechworth Asylum has long been associated with tales of paranormal activity, with visitors and staff reporting ghostly encounters, unexplained sounds and eerie sensations. 
Several tour operators offer ghost tours of the asylum, typically conducted at night. We did stroll through the buildings and found it quite eerie even in daylight. Next, we visited Beachworth Jail, which was constructed in response to the need for law enforcement and correctional facilities during the Gold Rush era. Beachworth Jail became known for its strict and disciplined atmosphere, often used to deter would-be lawbreakers. The jail was designed to reflect the prevailing attitudes of the time, emphasizing punishment and rehabilitations as a means to correct criminal behavior. Beachworth Jail eventually closed its doors in 2004, marking the end of its long and varied history. Today, the jail is open for tours and is also used for events. The jail is located next to Queen Victoria Park, as I suppose even prisoners deserve a good view during their incarceration. Next, we drop by Queen Victoria Park, a charming oasis in the heart of town. The park was named in honour of Queen Victoria, the long reigning monarch of the UK in the 19th century. The park offers easy walking paths for a leisurely stroll and to soak in the natural beauty. There are a pair of historical cannons located at the centre of the park for adventurous visitors to climb up and view. Newtown Falls is a picturesque waterfall located next to Newtown Bridge in Beechworth. It is a hidden gem known to locals and is a great spot to catch an afternoon photo. The water from Silver Creek cascades down the craggly red rocks and spills into a steep canyon where it forms Spring Creek. There is a parking area and viewing platform located next to the falls and it is a great spot to visit. In the evening, we returned to Wangaratta and had dinner at Prison Bar and Restaurant. They serve good pub food and we had the Prison Parma and the Seafood Linguini.
That's it for this video. Join us on our next video as we visit the Silo Art Trails and the ghost town of Waru. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe.